I think to understand the value of these trials that actually are very important, very mature, well, not all of them are mature, but we are reaching a point where you have to understand where we come from. Just remember, four or five years ago, we had nothing to offer to our patients. Then we first have this immunotherapy, ipilimumab, which for the first time gives us a benefit in overall survival in patients with metastatic melanoma. It's not that many patients, but about 15-20% of patients benefit in terms of OS. Some toxicity, immune-related, but we were already very happy. Now, we had this year main publications about anti-PD-1, so another level of immunotherapy, another checkpoint inhibitor, much better in terms of efficacy. It's 30-33% of patients responding with real responses long duration of these responses and much, much less adverse events. And what we heard these last few days is that by combining ipilimumab and CTLA-4 and one of and anti-PD-1, you know we have two anti-PD-1s, we have Nivo and EP, but it was combination with Nivolumab, then we have higher level of response rate. We are, about, we are above 50%. So it can be compared to targeted agents efficacy but we hope that these responses will be very long. We don't know the survival. What we heard was the phase three trial, EP plus NIVO versus NIVO versus EP, phase three trial. And we have a clear difference in terms of overall survival, in terms of progression-free survival. We, we are about 11 months of progression-free survival, a little bit more than 11, which is really good, but be careful, we don't have the overall survival, so we have to wait a little bit long, because it's very toxic. It's much more toxic than anti-PD-1 alone. We have more than 50%, between 15 and 60% of patients with high-grade adverse events, so it's not trivial. What is really important, uh, that we heard also, is that maybe we'll be able to find out the population of patients who really need the combination. Maybe we will be able to say, well, for this patient, he will not respond to NIVO or to PAMBRO alone because his metastasis or her metastasis do not express PDL1. Maybe PDL1 will be not will not be the, the best biomarker, but it's a good it's a good first thing. We have to do more research. But the truth is that PDL1 negativity does not seem to influence the efficacy of the combination. Whereas we know that when PDL1 is negative, the anti-PD1 monoclonal antibodies as single agents seem to, to work less. So this was the first very important thing that we heard at this meeting. The other important thing that we heard, let's not forget targeted agents. Right now, everybody thinks only about immunotherapy. Immunotherapy is very, very important, quite spectacular, and we, we come from really far away. But look at the result that we heard about the combination Dabrafenib plus Trametinib versus Trametinib. We already read this year in the New England Journal of Medicine that Indeed, dabrafenib plus trametinib is uh, a real benefit in terms of overall survival compared to vemurafenib, anti-BRAF only. Just let me remind you first, I didn't say that it's only for patients with BRAF mutation. So it's half of the population of our patients with melanoma. But nevertheless, if you combine these two drugs, anti-BRAF and anti-MEC, we also read in the New England not only Dabra plus Trame, but also Vemurafenib plus Cobimetinib, I mean, all this combination of anti-BRAF plus anti-MEC, not only we have less adverse events of the like induction of tumor that are linked to the paradoxical activation of, of the MAP kinase pathway. We had that with anti-BRAF only. With anti-BRAF plus anti mec we almost do not have these adverse events, but we are much more efficient in terms of response rate, overall survival. And what we heard at the meeting was presented by Georgina Long for the whole team of investigators was the update of the results of the COMBI-D study. Dabra plus trametinib versus trametinib, and we know that the median OS now with a combination is above 22 months. 
between 22 and, 20 and 23 months, which is approximately what we have, what we will have with the single agent and TPD1. So let's not forget that. We are the same PFS, almost the same OS, so we should not forget targeted agents. But what we have to do now, and it was also re reported at this meeting, is to try to think smartly in a way of combining or maybe sequencing all these new treatments.